first thing we'll do is connect the LED through this resistor to the positive rail. So we plug the resistor in and then the LED and remember by convention the long pin is positive and the short pin is negative. Putting in the first transistor Now on this transistor, the collector is going to be on your right and the emitter is going to be on your left. And we'll put in the second transistor. With this blue cable, I'm hooking the emitter from the first transistor to the collector on the second transistor. And the emitter on the second transistor goes to ground. Now you see at this point we have almost a circuit. We go from positive through the resistor, through the LED, and potentially through the transistors, but right now the transistors are open. So let's change that. So first we'll create a path to the base or the middle pin of that first transistor. And we'll connect that to this little push button. The other side of this push button goes to positive through this 10K resistor. When I push the button, the 10K will be enough to activate the base on the transistor and allow current to flow through that part of the circuit. Now we'll put in the second button. And we'll connect it to the base of the second transistor. And once again, we have this 10K resistor as a path from positive through the button and to the base of the second transistor. So now let's turn this on, test it out, and see how this works. Everything appears to be working fine. Push one button, nothing happens. Other button, nothing happens. Push both buttons and it lights up. Perfect. So you might be wondering, what's the deal with this other resistor? As it turns out, this uh, circuit is not quite perfect. To demonstrate, I'll turn off the lights and let's see what happens to this circuit in the dark. There, did you see that? When I push the first button, followed by the second button, there's actually a, a short flash. So why would that be? Looking at the schematic, there's actually nothing in the schematic that indicates that this should happen. What's actually happening is different components in a circuit can have uh, capacitance. They act like little capacitors. Uh, for example, these transistors can act like little capacitors. The effect is very small and a lot of times you can ignore it. 
But in some cases, for example here, the effect is strong enough to activate the base on this transistor and allow current to flow through when we don't want it to flow through. So that's what this last resistor is for. So I will connect that to this first button. Now this creates a steady drain on the power supply. Now there's always current. While this power supply is on, there's always current flowing through this circuit. It's very small. This one meg lets very little through but it's enough to drain that capacitance, that stray capacitance in our transistors. Now the circuit is just working great. So there you have it. We've built the AND gate using two transistors, uh, four resistors, an LED, and four little jumper wires. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.